Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all well and having a lovely, lovely day. For today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I do my everyday makeup look. I'm not exactly the best at doing my makeup, so this is an extremely easy, simple makeup look that is gonna be so easy for you guys to follow. So I'm just gonna go ahead and jump straight into it. So I'm gonna start by tucking my hair behind my ears because we just know that it's just gonna get all of my newly washed hair and we don't want that. The first product I'm using is the Collection Cover Up Stick and this is in shade 01 Light Translucent and then what I'm gonna do is take this and just put it all over my spots. As you can see, I have a lot of them. So this may take a while. So this is actually my favorite concealer because it's a really good shade it is very light it blends really well and also it's very affordable so if you're looking for a cheap concealer that actually works i definitely recommend this i think this cost me 199 which is just absolutely incredible so then i'm just gonna blend that all in just using my fingers So now that concealer is finished, I'm going to move on to foundation. So the foundation I'm using is Revlon Colour Stay in 110 Ivory. It's the foundation that I use all the time. I tell you guys about this so much. So I'm just going to put that on the back of my hand and use a beauty sponge. It's not a real beauty blender. This one is from Primark. I really would recommend their um, beauty sponges. They're really good. And then I'm just gonna put that all over my face. And I'd say this foundation is like full coverage. I love it so much. It gives me so much coverage, which is perfect for me, seeing as I have quite a lot of spots. Another reason why it's my favourite foundation, and it has been for like a good few years, is because it's so light. Again, it's a perfect match for my skin tone and I absolutely love it. So one layer of foundation was fine for me. It gave me really good coverage. I mean, still not every single spot is covered, but it's an everyday makeup look. I don't want to put too much on. I just put enough to make myself look presentable, but this is an everyday makeup look, so I'm not gonna to go to too much bother, and I just did a really quick, like, two minute dab round. It was super quick. So the next thing I'm gonna do is my eyeshadow. So for that, I'm using this Revolution palette, which is the Life on the Dance Floor VIP eyeshadow palette, which is definitely one of my favorites at the minute. So I want this eye makeup to be very natural. So I'm gonna go for this color on the bottom here, which is in the shade Champagne. And I'm just gonna apply that all over my lid. So that is such a natural color. I just use that as my base because it just gets rid of any like redness or imperfections on your eyelids. Next, I'm taking the shade Backstage and I'm just going to apply this to my crease. Now I'm taking this colour which is in the shade Notable and I'm going to apply that to my outer corner. Next I'm taking my Soap and Glory Thick and Fast High Definition Collagen Coat Mascara in Film Noir and then I just apply that to my top lashes. I love how big this mascara makes my eyelashes look so yeah here's the finished eye makeup look i love it it's very natural very nice moving on to my brows i'm taking my rimmel london brow this way eyebrow kit in 002 medium brown i love this eyebrow kit I've only just started using it recently and it's just my favorite thing ever so what i do is i take this brush here they have really good brushes with the kit and I use the more waxier product here put a little bit on my brush and then I just use that to shape my eyebrows first before I fill them in then I take the other brush and I use the like powdery product and I'm just going to use that to give my eyebrows a bit of color and fill them in 
So you can see the difference that that makes. This eyebrow has been filled in and this one hasn't. I love this product. And brows are finished. Ta-da! So going back to my actual face, I'm taking my collection Primed and Ready Invisible Setting Powder in 01. The reason why I do like my eye makeup and stuff before I do like my contour and like setting my foundation and stuff is because quite a lot of the time my eyeshadow will like smudge or like I'll get mascara somewhere so if I need to fix something then I just put foundation over it and then I do the rest of my face it's just easier that way so yeah I'm just gonna pop this all over my face I'm using a 17 makeup brush for my contour, highlight and blusher, I'm taking this palette, which is another Revolution palette. This is the blush palette in Golden Sugar, which again is very pretty. There are some beautiful shades in here. I do love uh, Revolution makeup products. They're so good. So I'm going to take this very light pink one for my blusher, just because I want it to be a really natural look. Don't want it to be too much and this just gives a little bit of a rosy cheek look then i'm taking this one here and i'm going to do my contour so i'm taking a studio london flat contour brush and i'm going to contour with that So don't worry, I don't leave it looking like this. I then take my beauty sponge, which has like leftover foundation on it. So like you can't really tell there's anything on it, but there obviously is gonna be because none of your brushes or sponges are ever gonna be clean. So I think this is a great way to blend your contour and make it look a lot more natural. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. So I definitely feel like that looks a lot more natural. We're going to use this one here for some highlight. And I'm literally going to put that on my brow bone. And on my cheekbone. And on the tip of my nose. And then to finish off my everyday makeup look, I'm going to now do my lips. So I'm going to use this lipstick. I have no idea how to pronounce this. It's M-U-A, Mua, or is it just called M-U-A? I don't know. This lipstick here. And this is in shade 11. I have very dry lips at the moment, so please excuse that. So there we go, everyone. That is my everyday makeup look completed. I absolutely love this makeup look. I think it's perfect for every day. It doesn't look like you put too much effort into it. It's a very quick and easy makeup look. So guys, I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If you have, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Let me know in the comments down below what the makeup products that you use every single day are. I'd love to know. Thanks so much for watching guys and I will see you all again very, very soon. Bye!